North Korea says each spy satellite launch has failed again. A TV screen at the Seoul railway station in South Korea shows a news report on the North Korea launch on August 24th. CNN, North Korea's second attempt to launch a spy satellite into orbit failed Thursday due to a malfunction in the third stage of the rocket, the state-run Korean Central News Agency called KCNA reported. The unsuccessful launch came after North Korea's first attempt failed in May, when the new satellite vehicle rocket Cholima one crashed into the sea soon after lift off. Pyongyang will try another launch on October, KCNA said. The latest launch at dawn Thursday failed due to an, an error in the emergency blasting system during the third stage flight, the report said. The rocket broke into multiple parts before falling into a yellow sea, the East China Sea, and the Pacific Ocean in the early hours of Thursday, said the Japanese Parliamentary Vice Minister of Defense Kimi Onoda. After salvaging the debris, the South Korean military said the design of the latest satellite was too rudimentary to fulfill its function, even if it had been launched successfully. The launch <coughs> prompted Japan to issue an emergency call for residents of the southern <coughs> Okinawa region to evacuate. The evacuation call, the heat call the has since been lifted. Japan said North Korea sent an email Tuesday saying it planned to launch a satellite in the direction of the Yellow Sea and the East China Sea between between August 24th and 31st, in an area that falls outside Japan's exclusive economic zone. Following that email, the Japanese Coast Guard issued the navigational warning of this area and called it the ships to watch out for a falling object. The launch has been condemned by Japan, South Korea, and the United States. In the news conference Thursday, the Japan's chief cabinet secretary, Hirokazu Matsuno, said the Japan strongly protests North Korea's latest launch and condemns it in the strongest term, adding that the launch used ballistic missile technology. Matsuno called it the launch the serious matter that violates the United Nations Security Council resolution that prohibited any launches using ballistic missile technology by North Korea. He said the Japanese government had called an emergency meeting and is collecting and analyzing details of the launch, which would be shared with the public as soon as it became available. There have been no reported of damage to ship or aircraft so far, Matsuno added. South Korea's National Security Council called the NSC also condemned the launch, which he said was the serious violation of the UN Security Council resolution. The NSC deplored that the new North Korea for driving its people to starvation and death by wasting the few resources they have on reckless provocations. In the meeting Thursday morning, the NSC members pledged to strengthen cooperation with the United States and Japan to prevent North Korea's illegal activities, such as exploitation of North Korean workers overseas, cyber hacking, and smuggling at sea. South Korea's President Yoon suk yeol received the report of the NSC discussions and ordered the NSC to share Thursday's analysis result of the, with the U.S. and Japan and prepare for North Korea's additional provocations, according to a statement released by the country's presidential office. The U.S. US National Security Council condemned the launch as the brazen violation of multiple UN Security Council resolutions, saying it, saying it raises tensions and risks destabilizing the security situation in the region and beyond. This space launch 
involve the technologies that are directly related to the DPRK Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Program, the Conscious Spokesperson Andrei Watson. In a statement several hours after the launch, the president and national security team is assessing the situation in close cooperation with our allies and partners. We argue all, all countries to condemn this launch and call on the DPRK to come to the table for serious negotiations. The launch comes days after U.S. President Joe Biden met with the leaders of Japan and South Korea at Camp David. During the summit, the three leaders pledged closer cooperation to protect against the nuclear threat by North Korea and argued to Pyongyang to uh, abandon its nuclear and ballistic missile programs. North Korea is expected to celebrate its 55 Foundation Day on September 9th with a military parade. Had the launch been successful, had the launch been successful, it would be would have been a timely boost for North Korea leader Kim Jong Un.